I was born in the bush. So yeah, that's always been my passion. I'm privileged to be able to to do this job and protect the rhino. And look, unfortunately, with this onslaught of rhino poaching, the numbers are drastically decreasing. Wildlife trafficking has, has, has certainly changed things. It's brought in the, the crime syndicates, and that brings a whole different dimension. Yeah, we've got a very small window. We've got maximum five kilometers that the guys will come in, shoot a rhino, and then leave. So that gives us, on average, half an hour. If you've heard a shot, it's too late. If we can do something to support those rangers in any way possible, that makes a difference. We can attract humans, not the, not the rhinos. If you can do that, you can be proactive and you can be actively targeting your poachers as opposed to your poachers targeting the animals. And I mentioned Arch and Cisco has come to the party where they've, they've made things available to us that we never thought possible. A Wi-Fi web across the reserve which links our camera traps, fence alarms, tracking systems. Now everything talks to each other. There's a, there's a big brother out there that enables you to communicate in any way possible, be it through IT, through a tablet, through communications. That's a different ballgame. I can be anywhere in the 60,000 hectare reserve and get a notification on the tablet and say, listen, there's a group coming in on this and this coordinates. We need to react there. And if you're proactive, you're standing a better chance of actually being successful. Technology aids us hundredfold. It, it makes our lives and the lives of my field rangers a lot safer and easier. I certainly believe technology is one of the bigger tools in the toolbox against the fight against rhino poaching. Mm -hmm.